What's up guys? Welcome back to Blackout Tinning. My name is Justin from the Horsepower Obsessed YouTube channel, but John here, the guy behind the camera, welcomed me with open arms to review and give you an overview of the 2021 Dodge Ram TRX. So if you guys haven't seen this truck yet, it really is something to behold. Basically what we're looking at here is Dodge's attempt at taking down the Ford Raptor. And yeah, I think they nailed it. So like I said, this is gonna be just basically an overview. We're not necessarily gonna get real in depth here, but where we're gonna definitely start is where everybody's gonna to wanna to start. And that is under the hood. So guys, what we are looking at here under the hood is of course the infamous Hellcat engine on top you have that gigantic supercharger. And because of that, this thing is able to put out 702 horsepower and 650 pound feet of torque. So this is not your average truck. This thing is an absolute beast. And because of that gigantic engine, the gas mileage is not looking so good. We get 10 miles per gallon in the city and a not much better 14 miles per gallon on the highway. Now, what is really impressive about this thing is that this is about 6,800 pound curb weight truck, and it still can propel itself zero to 60 in about 3.7 seconds, which is absolutely insane because of the fact that this thing weighs almost 7,000 pounds. Now, moving on guys to the suspension. So another part of this truck that is really special, Dodge has set this thing up in a way that is absolutely built for off-roading. So right off the bat, we have massive 35 inch all-terrain tires mounted on the 18 inch wheels, which right off the bat, there's not many trucks out there you can buy right from factory that come with 35 inch tires. Because of the tires and because of the suspension, this truck has about 11.8 to 12 inches of ground clearance, which again, very incredible for a truck this size and this capable. There is a lot of under shielding on this truck to protect the important stuff. Your oil pan, your transmission, all of that good stuff is all completely covered and protected for the off-roading you are very likely to do with this particular truck. Like I said, the suspension is very much so set up for off-roading with the Bilstein remote reservoir dampers, an electronic locking rear differential, and of course, to stop this gigantic monster, you need huge front 15 inch rotors. So this particular truck is a level two, meaning its MSRP was closer to $80,000, but you can in fact get a level one that starts somewhere closer to 71,000 MSRP, of course, if you can find them without any kind of markups. Now, the next thing on this truck, guys, is if you're looking for a nice truck to tow with, this is probably not necessarily gonna be your best option because this one maxes out at 8,100 pounds. So the typical, Dodge Ram tows a little over 12,000 pounds while the TRX limits it to 8,100 because of the off-road suspension and the cooling setup. Unfortunately, you get about 4,000 pounds less than what the typical Dodge Ram gets. Now, with this truck being set up the way it is for off-roading, it's very unlikely you would ever need to tow more than 8,100 pounds, but if you're looking for a truck that can do it all, this probably isn't your best bet. With that said, guys, this thing is absolutely fantastic looking. It is, without a doubt, one of the better looking off-roading trucks I have seen. I am a fan of the Ford Raptor, and in my opinion, this thing is much better looking, and in my experience, it is much more capable off-road than even the Ford Raptor. So with that said, if you're looking at one of the two trucks, without a doubt, I recommend the TRX. I am not necessarily a huge Dodge fan, but I would buy this truck in a heartbeat because it is absolutely fantastic. All right, so coming inside of the TRX truck, we are immediately greeted with some nice stitching on the seats themselves. Obviously, nicely embroidered TRX on a very nicely leather wrapped seat. We have a lot of really interesting features in this truck. For it being a truck, we get a lot of performance features that are really only found on cars, it seems. The dashboard has a lot of dry carbon fiber on it. The center console back here where the cup holders are at also has some dry carbon. The center console lid is wrapped in a suede material with, of course, your riveted TRX badge, talking about just how rare and how special this truck actually is. And then here we have the D-shaped steering wheel, obviously very race inspired, some more dry carbon fiber, and of course a black chrome Ram symbol in the middle. We have all the controls on the steering wheel themselves. The most important one here, again, a level two option, is your adaptive cruise control and the automatic brake assist. And then of course you can see right behind the steering wheel, we have some very metal feeling paddle shifters. I, yeah, these are actually aluminum, they are not plastic. So very, very race inspired stuff here, guys. 
Now, of course, the star of the show with this particular truck, and you get this with the level one or the level two, is the 12 inch in dash display, which basically houses all of your controls. There's very few actual physical buttons. Most of them are housed in the actual software and it is very, very nice looking. My favorite feature of this interior though has got to be just how nicely put together the dashboard is. All very nicely leather wrapped with your dry carbon here and there. And yeah, it just screams quality. With the Dodge trucks, I have always been a fan of how much more quality they seem to be than pretty much any other truck out there. And this TRX is no exception. Coming around to the back seat of the truck, we have very, very, very adequate leg room here, adequate headroom. And of course, if you have kids or you have anything you're trying to haul outside of the bed of the truck, you have more than enough room here. Now underneath the seats, we also have storage that again is a level two option. This is what we have. So there's a little bit of a storage compartment under here and these lift straight up and down. So you have even more room to store anything you may need to store back here. Now for the TRX, we actually have two different 115 volt outlets one of them is in the front of the truck and the other one is right here alongside two usb a ports and two usb c ports and again some heated and ventilated controls even for the back seat which is absolutely insane and in case you guys were wondering why the 2021 trx was here we actually had a couple different things done to it starting with the expel stealth on the side to kind of give the gloss black a satin finish we also put some vinyl wrapping on the roof to make sure that that also matched the black and white appearance of the truck. And we tinted the two front windows to again, make sure everything was nice and blacked out. All right guys, so that is gonna do it for the overview of the 2021 TRX. Like I said, I'm not necessarily a gigantic full-size truck fan, but this would be the one for me. Now, if you guys feel the same, obviously, check out your local Dodge dealership and see if they have anything for you. But at the end of the day, I'm gonna go ahead and give this two big thumbs up. This is an amazing truck. I absolutely love what Dodge has done with it. They've really taken what the Ford Raptor has offered and just put it on steroids. But guys, that's gonna do it for the video. So if you liked what you saw, please leave us some big thumbs ups on this video. Let us know that you like these kind of videos and we will continue to do them for you.